Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Danny. So as promised, I have part two to what I got my kids for Christmas this year, stocking stuffer edition. If you missed part one, then I will leave that, um, the link to that video in my description box for you guys. But if you are new here, I do have three kids. I have a eight year old boy, Gabriel, a five year old girl, Isabella, and a two year old girl, Bianca. So I have plenty of ideas for you guys for both boys and girls. Real quick before I start, I know I said I was to start already but in my last video I completely forgot to show you guys um, one more gift that Bianca my two-year-old is going to be getting this year so she really loves bath time so I got her um, a bunch of these little um, rubber ducks and I got this from Big Lots for eight dollars so she is absolutely gonna love this um, this is going to be actually one of her gifts like I said I just forgot to show it to you guys in the last video so I wanted to show it to you guys so that you have some extra ideas also i promise this is the last one but i could not help myself one of the stores that i went into um five below to get a lot of the stocking stuffers that i'm going to be showing you i ended up finding a gift for the kids that is honestly going to be way too big to put into their stockings when you see it so I decided to pick them up and this is also going to be a gift from us. So this is going to be another gift um, that I ended up finding when I was looking for more stocking stuffers for the kids. Um, but I ended up picking up these because um, they're so cute and I think that you pronounce them squish squishmallows, kind of like marshmallow, but squishmallow. And um, this one is going to be for Gabriel. So it's so cute. These are really, really soft. Um, I guess that's why they call them that. But I love that they have like little names. This one is Seth. Excuse my, my nails there because I have not gotten a manicure. <laughs> but um, this one is Seth. So that's going to be for Gabriel. And then I found this one, which I think is so cute for Isabella. I think that this is something that she's really going to love. And this one's name is Haley. So I got that one for my daughter Isabella. And then this little one is named Vanessa. So I think this one is gonna be perfect for my daughter, my two-year-old Bianca. I was literally about to leave the store when I saw these and these are like the whole, these are very popular with kids right now. And they're so soft and so cute. And at five below, I think I paid like $5.55 for each one, which is a really good deal. So if you're looking for these, then definitely check out five below. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the stocking stuffers. I'm gonna start with the candy. I don't usually put a lot of candy in my kids' stockings, so there's just two different kinds of candy that I got for them. The first one that I got, um, I got from the Dollar Tree, and it's just, you know, you have to put candy canes in there. So I got them some candy canes, and these are the cherry sweet tart flavor. So there's six of them in here, so I don't know, I'll probably throw maybe two of them or maybe one and then I'll save some for myself. <laughs> these are really good though. So um, these are gonna be perfect to just divide into their stockings this year. And another little popular um, candy for the kids are these little Kinder Joy eggs. So um, I got these from Walmart a little while ago, but if you go to Five Below, these have um, like Barbie, the girls got the Barbie ones and they didn't have any boy ones. So Gabriel just got a, um, like just a plain original one. But if you go to Five Below, I did, I didn't pick up any more because I already had these, but they did have some that were like Christmas themed, which are so cute. So if you want these that are like more Christmassy, then go check out Five Below because they have them like in really cute Christmas themes. But I already had these, so I'm gonna give these to the kids. So like I said, um, each of the girls have the little Barbie themed ones and then Gabriel, they didn't have any other than just the regular one, but he's still gonna love it. They love these, kids love these. So if you need an idea, this is a really good idea for kids. So the next item that I got for their stockings, um, I also found this again at Five Below, um, and they are called Squish Bead Plushies. They're like little fidget, fidget plushies, um, but they're so cute. So I got these three. This one, I think this one is gonna be for maybe Bianca, and then this little green one for Gabriel, and this one will probably be for Isabella. But again, these are really soft, and the funny thing is that when you squeeze them, they have like these little like jelly bead type things inside. So um, my kids love these. Every time they go to the store, um, I mean, they haven't seen them like this, like these little um, plush type toys, but um, the little balls, like these kind of squishy balls that they sell at Walmart, they're always playing with them and always asking for them. So um, I think that's so funny but I think that they're really gonna love these. And like I said, I got them at five below and they had all kinds of different ones. So 
um, that is what they look like and yeah the kids are really gonna love these another um, item that I got for their stockings and it's another popular item I'm sure you guys um, have heard of these before but they are poppets so um, I got let me see I got Gabriel and Isabella's poppets from Ross I think it was and um, I think this one is Gabriel so um, theirs have uh, two of them two poppets so Gabriel has like this little robot poppet, like rainbow colored. And then the other one is kind of different. I hadn't seen these before, but my kids, they told me what they were called. They showed me like, we had gone to the store um, maybe like a couple weeks before I had bought these. And they had told me the name of this and they really, really wanted it. But I honestly can't remember the name of them. So I'm sorry, but there are so many different poppets nowadays. Um, they have everything, poppets right now. So anyways, um, this is a two pack. This one is Gabriel's. That one has like the little robot. And then Isabella, she got the unicorn one. So she has a unicorn rainbow poppet in there. And then she has one of those same ones, but I think I wanna say this one, maybe it spins. It looks like it's kind of like one of those spinny fidget ones. So I don't know, we'll have to see whenever we open it on Christmas. But I wanna say that maybe that one spins, but if even if it doesn't, I mean, she wanted something like along these lines. So they're really gonna love those. And honestly, I didn't know if uh, my daughter, my two-year-old Bianca was even going to like the poppets, but the kids, um, they got a poppet recently from a friend and Bianca has just been fighting them for it. So I didn't get her any from Ross, but when I went to Five Below, I saw that they had some there. So I went ahead and grabbed her one and this just says bubble burst poppet. So um, I, marble cloud is what it says. So there's like a little picture on the back there of what it looks like. And as you can see, I paid $5 for that. And I think the other ones that I got from Ross, they were roughly around like $5 um, for that, which is really good because that's like a two pack. So the kids are gonna be really excited about this. Again, this is another popular little toy, fidget toy that the kids are into. So the next thing that I got, I only got one for Gabriel and for Isabella because honestly, this is something that I think that Bianca is not really going to enjoy. Um, or if like the kids sit down, it's these little books. Um, they can like read these with her. So I didn't get her one, but I honestly don't think that she's going to really care too much. But these are really cute. I got these from the Dollar Tree and I almost every year go to the Dollar Tree and I find these really cute books. They have like um, these, um, I don't remember what they're called. They're like God books. They talk about different things like the Bible stories and things like that. And then these right here, this one, um, I don't really know which one I'm gonna give to who, but this one is love. So a little book, um, little book of prayers. So there's that one. And then the other one is kindness. So I think that these will be really nice for them. And these are hardcover books. And also the pages inside, they're not like paper. They're actually like these hard, this hard material. So I think that these will um, hold up really well. Um, Gabriel, he loves to get these. And also Isabella, she's in kindergarten this year, so she is learning how to read. So I think that these will be perfect for them. So this next item that I got for their stockings, I got from Walmart and it was a dollar. And it's just these little um, bubble bath things. So it's the Mr. Bubble bubble bath. And um, I got two pink ones. So each of the girls will have these pink bottles and then Gabriel will have this white one but they love taking bubble baths so um, I mean they'll be able to like share these and everything and all of that but I, this will be like plenty for them to have plenty of little bubble baths so I know that they're really gonna enjoy these and like I said I got these from Walmart so another item that I love to put in their stockings every year are new toothbrushes and I got these once again from Walmart and I believe they were on sale for five dollars it looked like they said they were on sale. Maybe that's like the everyday price, but um, definitely check out Walmart for these. These are the um, spin brush toothbrushes and they're all like the soft bristle. And I love that they have all of these really nice characters on them. So for Gabriel, I got him the Super Mario one. And as you can see, they're battery powered uh, little toothbrushes. And then I have these two girl ones. I'm thinking that I'm going to give this one, the My Little Pony one to my two-year-old Bianca, and then this uh, Sky Paw Patrol will probably be for my five-year-old Isabella. So I know that they're gonna be really excited about these. This next item that I got is another Dollar Tree find, and it is just some bubbles, just regular bubbles. And I love that this is a three pack, which is a really good deal. So I just paid a dollar for this whole um, little pack and I can easily just open this and throw one into one of the kids' stockings or each of the kids' stockings. 
So they're really gonna be excited about this. They love bubbles. I think all kids love bubbles, so you can't go wrong with this. Once again, another item that I got that um, Bianca did not get one because honestly, she will probably just eat it, which is not good for you at all. So um, I got Gabriel and Isabella these little um, hand sanitizers and they have these little like carrying little case things that they can hang on their backpacks, maybe for school. So for, I got these at Walmart, but for Isabella, I got this really cute one. It almost looks, I don't know if that's a sloth maybe, like a cupcake looking sloth. I don't know, I'm probably so off on that. But I got that for Isabella. And then for Gabriel, they really did not have that many options for boys, which I was so disappointed. But I did end up finding this brown one that has this really cute koala on it. So that's really cute. But yeah, I struggled with boys. Honestly, they a lot of things that they have for girls that are so cute, um, a lot of things don't have like a boy version. So I was kind of disappointed in a lot of things, but I was super happy to find these. And these are, I mean, they're gonna be super excited about them. And my daughter, Isabella, she absolutely loves to carry hand sanitizer, especially for school. This is perfect. Put it on their backpacks or in their lunch bags. So I got those for the older kids. Like I said, Bianca cannot have this yet because she will just try and drink this. So <laughs> um, these are gonna be for the older kids. So I'm almost done. I just have um, two more like little groups of things to show you guys. So from the Dollar Tree, I ended up getting the older kids um, these really cool little, what are these, light up spinners. So you launch it and then you can watch it um, spin, like spin down almost like a little helicopter. They have had these before and they absolutely have a blast with them. They love them. And for a dollar, you can't beat that. Like I said, I got them from the Dollar Tree. So Isabella will get this pink one and then Gabriel will get the blue one. And like I said, um, it says on here, um, LED light. So they do light up right there. They have a little light there. And um, I got these for the older kids, but I really, I mean, my two-year-old, she's not gonna be able to um, use this and she'll probably just get really frustrated. So um, to throw in another little stocking stuffer for her, I got this from Five Below for her. She loves Blue's Clues, so I found, um, I think it's magenta. And so that's gonna be kind of like her little um, gift to make this even. So I got her that, like I said, from Five Below. And they also had um, Blue, the actual Blue puppy, so that is another idea for their stockings. So the last little group of things that I got, um, I'll start with Bianca's because they're not all the same, same situation with the last little group of things that I showed you. Um, from the Dollar Tree, I got Bianca these little bath toys. Um, so there's like a little octopus, a crab, and then a little starfish in there. So she's gonna absolutely love these. She loves bath toys so much. So I got that for her. And from Five Below, I got the older kids some little keychains for their backpacks. So for Isabella, she loves unicorns and everything rainbow. So I got her this really cute one for her backpack. And then for Gabriel, he is definitely my little gamer. So I got this. And as you can see, the little confetti stuff that's in there moves around but I think that he's really gonna love this too. So that is gonna be the last little idea for their stockings. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed all of these ideas and that it helped inspire you to get a little bit more creative with the kids' stockings. You don't have to spend a lot. I think everything that I have here is $5 and under. And last year, I, last year or the year before, I think I did like a full Dollar Tree stocking stuffer. So definitely stay within your budget, whatever works for you. Kids are so grateful for everything and anything. I know mine are, but yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. And if you are new here, again, my name is Danielle and I would love for you, or AKA Danny, I would love for you to consider um, subscribing and joining my YouTube family. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one.